You it, should start by falling from like a thousand feet and do the introduction and you fall right there here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello viewers of this video and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation channel. As you can see, we're back in our base and the whole Redstone Innovation <laughs> crew is here. So if you guys didn't know, these are the people that helped make RI happen. Thanks Yay. guys. Uh, right now we're all on the QBMC.us server, so come and join us. We're having a great time, can't you see? <laughs> Alright, so here's the video we have today. Uh, this is actually just a button panel, but it's a combo lock that we installed for our 4x4 that we released a while ago. As you can see here, the passcode is 12443, so let's go ahead and try that out. 1, 2, 4, 4, 3. And as you can see, it opens right up, and we can get right into our bedroom and do stuff. Alright, so without any further ado, we'll show you the wiring. Was that a hamburger? What the... <laughs> what is this? What is this? Why? What the fuck? <laughs> As you can see, this is a very compact combo lock for being a combo lock. What am I saying? As far as expendable combo locks go, this is what we believe to be one of the most compact out there. The wiring itself is actually quite tiny, and then the rest of it is kind of just bussing and figuring out the inputs. Alright, so here's all the wiring for the version that we're going to be building today. So I'm going to be making a four-digit long passcode using four different buttons um, in addition to the reset. I should just go ahead and demonstrate that this supports repeated digits, so you can see here the passcode is 2334. Um, if we just enter in 234, the door will not open, but if we enter in 2334, the door opens. Then we can go ahead and use our reset line to close it. So the combo lock is only three circuits. Um, the pink wool here is for busing, which carries signals all the way down. The blue is the set and reset, and that goes on both the top and the bottom. The green here controls all the logic associated with the combo lock, and then red down here is just for the output. So for this tutorial, I'm only going to be using a very simple button panel, um, but next week we're going to release a tutorial with uh, some different options that you can use. The reason why you might want a bigger one is because the more buttons you have, the more secure your combo lock will be. That'll be recorded by uh, Winteg, uh, so look forward to that. And that'll be in addition to another video that we're releasing. So two, bonus video next week. Quick fun fact about this circuit, I actually built this over four years ago, and we have never recorded it until now. But yeah, the circuit's been virtually unchanged for four years, and it still works, so that's kind of cool. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Alright, so in our combo lock, we're going to be starting off with the main interface. Um, so, going down the line here, we're just going to use the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and then this fifth one will be the reset. And I've already decided that our passcode is going to be 2344, four, which means 2344. Four, four. So that'll kind of demonstrate that it can use repeated digits. Yeah, bruh. Immediately behind your button panel, you're going to place a whole bunch of upright droppers droppers, and then comparators behind those. Then pointing straight down into those, we're going to place a whole bunch of hoppers. After you place those hoppers on top of your droppers, go ahead and throw one of any item into them. Uh, so I'm just going to use potatoes. And as you can see, these comparators should turn on. After these comparators, go ahead and place repeaters in front of them, um, and then we can get started with the pink circuit. After these repeaters, go ahead and place a row of pink blocks, and then a row of repeaters in front of them. They should be powered. And you're going to repeat this pattern for as many digits you have in your combo. So uh, remember our passcode is 2344, four, so we're going to do this pattern four times. Until we have four rows of pink blocks. So here's the first. And now we have four. After this last row, you don't need any repeaters. So remembering that our passcode is 2344, four, uh, we're going to go ahead and place our torches on these pink blocks. Basically, this row of pink blocks corresponds to the first digit in your combo. This is the second, this is the third, and so on. And from our button panel, this is one, two, three, and four um, with the reset. So because our first digit is two, for this first digit row, uh, we're gonna place torches on every pink block except for the row that corresponds with two. So keeping in mind this is three and that this is the second digit, we're gonna place torches on every pink block except for the one that corresponds with three. And then our last two digits are four and four. So we're gonna place torches on every pink block except for the one that corresponds with four. 
So remember, this is completely customizable for any combination you want, um, and you'll just place the torches accordingly. So moving into the light blue circuit, we're going to have to actually remove a few blocks. Uh, we're going to remove the blocks that don't have torches on them. So again, those are the ones that correspond with the digits you want in your combination. For each of those blocks you cut out, you're going to dig down and then over until you've hit this last block. So what I'd recommend you do is cut out all these blocks right here so that you know when to stop digging. Then we're going to dig down under each of these missing blocks and dig left until we've reached that. So for our first digit, go ahead and dig down, then over, and then you'll see the sky over there. Um, you know what I mean. Go ahead and place redstone leading all the way to that empty space, uh, going up like this. Then from here we're going to place our pink block again, and then this redstone should be powered all the way to over here. And we're going to continue this pattern going down the line. So coming to our second digit, go ahead and dig down, down and over until you've reached here. Go ahead and place redstone leading all the way back over there. Then where you've dug down, go ahead and place redstone leading up again with a pink block on top. Then I'll just go ahead and do the last two quickly. So dig down, dig over until you see the sky. Place redstone leading all the way over there. Come up, place redstone on top, and then a pink block on top of that. And one more time. So remember, for whatever combination you want, uh, you'll be digging underneath uh, whatever block that you didn't place a torch on and leading redstone all the way to the left. So that was the set part of the light blue circuit. Let's go ahead and just do the reset part, which is really simple. All you have to do is place blocks on top of all these torches leading all the way down. And then you go ahead and place redstone on top of all of these. Until you have something that looks like that. And now we're going to get into the green circuit, which is all the logic. Next, we're going to take these redstone lines and lead them into torches at the ground level, so they should be T-powered, like so. Then we're going to go to the end of each of these blue lines and build an upside-down L, like this. Then you're going to continue these redstone lines onto the top of the L that you placed. Then, starting at the back of the circuit, go ahead and place torches on the ends of all of these corner blocks. Then these torches on the end will power into redstone right there. Then building off the side of the redstone, go ahead and place blocks on the insides right there. Then you're going to go around to the end and place one more right there. Then we're going to jump on up to the top, and from these torches, uh, place repeaters on three facing in that direction. Then starting from the button panel side again, go ahead and shift click a block in front of that repeater there and build a line going all the way down. Then go ahead and jump your way on up to the top again, and place blocks at the end of each of these redstone lines on top of that line that you just built. Place torches on all of those blocks, then redstone in between all of those. Then you can go ahead and cut out the blocks under the torches. Then we're going to drop on out of the circuit one more time. This is where it kind of gets tricky, but we're going to go underneath here, and on the insides of each of these L's, go ahead and place torches right there. After that, that should be it, so let's go ahead and take an output. Our output is going to be from this very last repeater down here, so go ahead and place a block under there, and that'll be your output right there. So let's just go ahead and lead this around to the front. As you can see, the output is on right now, but if we go ahead and reset it, we can go ahead and test our passcode. So remember, it's 2344. 2344. And we can see the door opens. Let's go ahead and reset and try 234. As you can see, it doesn't open. But yeah, that should be it for this video. So remember, if you want a 10 digit button panel, Wintag will have a video on that next week, and he'll show you how to hook it up into the combination lock. So we're done with this version of the circuit. Um, if it's unclear how to expand it, um, which it's, it is fully expandable, um, go ahead and hit us up in the comments and we'll make another video on how to expand this. But I do think it's pretty self-explanatory. Remember, each of these corresponds to another input, and adding another one of these rows adds another digit to your combo. So if you scale up the circuit enough, you'll have something like we had for the 4x4 in the intro. And if you don't think you can do it, uh, go ahead and join us on the QBMC server. We'll be happy to help you out. Or go ahead and leave a comment, tweet to us, the usual. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, we thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check out our past stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. You will see me next time. Ha ha ha.